What is good, you guys? I am back from the long hiatus, Christmas time. Just put the Christmas tree up, not even done with it yet. Gotta surprise my wife. But today, I'm gonna do a tutorial about something that I have always hated, and hate is a strong word, but something that I've always disliked about using my MPC software, and that is sequencing tracks. Bolo! Just like every other music production program, like Logic, like Ableton, like FL, like Cubase, you have an arrangement window to where you can arrange your tracks and pattern them out, do effects, bounce it down. Well, Akai still has kind of like an old school method and I think it needs to be updated, just to be honest. I think Akai, either they need to update it or they need to address it for us because it, it's kind of old school and the way producers are making beats right now, I think that a car would get left behind because even the machine has it to where you can make beats in the track mode and, you know, sequence it out and put effects. It's, it, it's what it is right now. So I think they should do the same thing. But I have a workaround for it. What I'm going to do is, that sounded really country. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you guys a quick hack of how you can track out your tracks in the track mode without going into sequencer mode and all that stuff, and then bouncing it down. Now, it's not the best way to do it. It has a lot of flaws. Even when I do the video, I'm probably going to mess up a little bit, but at least it'll be a way where you can do that. So uh, let's go ahead. Let me show you this little hack or a little trick. Maybe some of you guys have already been doing it. And uh, I'll see you after the video. So let's go. Okay, you guys, as you can see, I have a beat in the FL Studio software that is tracked out in track mode. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So um, I'm gonna play the beat and I'm gonna show you how I did it once the verse comes in. So, catch the drift, that's the verse part right here, and then here goes the chorus again. I took out the organ part, but um, let me show you how to do this. So, let me go ahead and open up this again and not save anything. And let's just do this from scratch. Okay, so this is the original session right here, 8-bar loop, 150 BPMs. So... You know, when you move this bar down here at the bottom, it doesn't move because you have to set how many bars it is. So what I usually do is I set this to 64. I just uh, basically um, find like a number, 64 bars or whatever. So now we have some real estate here that we can work at. So what we do is, first thing you need to do is when you get done making that beat, you need to set this to bar. Now we can take this and then we can just duplicate a whole bunch of these. Now, the thing is, you can't hit duplicate again because what it's going to do is it's going to just take this white part right here. I don't know why that happens like that, but I think they need to do that a little bit better. So, we're going to duplicate that. And we're just going to keep going and just duplicating this all the way over. And then, um, what you need to do when you're doing that, now you have like a uh, full song. So, we have a full song now. Um, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take loop off. We're going to take loop off so that we can kind of go through the whole beat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, the kick out all the way to the ninth bar. And I'm going to take all this other stuff out too. Um, e, you know, even the organ part. And so we're going to go here. Uh, 917 and then 25. 
we're going to take out this organ part again and then we just got to basically just count bars from here so 33 um, go to 41 take that out my bad and then uh, 41 okay to another eight bars to 49 so there we go we have a whole beat and we have a eight bar intro or what double time we haven't double time so eight bar intro um, which is really a four bar intro in regular time hook verse and then another hook and that's how you do it that's how you can do this in track mode now you know in other programs it's way easier because they have like the blocks and you can just move the blocks that have all the MIDI information in it um, like Logic Pro Tools, FL, Ableton all that good stuff uh, I hope that Akai does address this issue so that uh, you know we can work just like all the other guys which I still use those programs because in here I actually bounce down the waves to throw them into the other program to do the mixing because they have um, uh, better you know things like mixing capabilities and even like putting in effects and stuff on that better so Akai if you're watching this come on man hook us up okay there it is I showed you guys a little hack Hopefully Akai sees this video and they address this issue so that they won't get left behind because they, they, they really need to do that. But if you like this and you learned something, please comment. Please turn on those post notifications and please hit that subscribe button. Until then, like I always say, peace out.